So we start off bunny hops. Find your inner child. <laughs> Have my hands shoulder width apart or just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Come up onto your toes. We hop to the side, hop to the side. So you're hopping across the center point. You want to land as softly as you can. If you don't feel comfortable doing the bunny hops, you can just step across, step across. Then we've got handstand kick ups. So the aim isn't to get up into a handstand, but um, if you're not used to doing this sort of thing, I would suggest you practice using a wall just in case you kick too far and then you fall over and hurt yourself. So just be careful when you're doing this. Take one leg up, point the toe, and you're just kicking up gently. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Have a practice at this. We do four on one leg. We do four on the other. Keep pulling your abs in nice and tight. This is really going to tone those stomach muscles. And we do some kick changes as well. So after you've done your handstand kick ups, we come up and we've got a street dance step. So you kick forward, place the foot to the side, then the other leg steps behind, that leg kicks forward, place, behind. So it's forward, place, behind. Forward, place, behind. Kick, down, behind. Kick, down, behind. If you've got the steps, you can bring the arms in. So I'm not very coordinated using my arms and my legs at the same time. I do struggle with it. You want long leg, long arm as you go to the side. Shorten the arm as you take it behind. So it's lengthen, shorten. It's a lot easier. So arms optional. So one move from the video is where they do the hands and to the floor, if you can. Side to side, hello Ruby. And you come up onto one knee, one knee bent. We're gonna raise the arms. You can lean back a little if you want, if you're warmed up. Arms come out and we go to the other side. You can up and back. It's harder than it looks. There is a hard version to this. Now I have a problem with my toe. I have arthritis in my toe, so it hurts a lot. It doesn't bend very well. But the, the hard version, down, up. My toe is clicking. Up. That stopped clicking. <laughs> now I've got cat. <sighs> Click. Down. Side. 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 Step wide. Come up onto the toes. Bring yourself up. Get your balance. Reach up and down. Up. Down. And down. So I can do it like this. It's just when it's actually in the middle of the song, I fall over. <laughs> so it's going to be a while before I can do the hard version, I think. But I'll keep practicing. Right, the back bend in this. You can just stand, reach up, and pull in with the tummy muscles all the time. So rather than just going back, lift up, then back. So back bend on knees. So you're on your knees. You can place your hands on your hips. Make sure they're facing forward. Lift up again, shoulders down and relaxed, and you're leaning back. The aim is to get your hands to your heels. I'm not as flexible as I was this time last year. I can reach them, but um, I need to warm up a bit more. So, go back to the start again. So, hips are forward, hands on hips, lift up. You can place the hands in the small of your back, lifting up as you lean back, dropping the head back, then... Reach for the ankles if you feel able. It's intense, my whole body's shaking. You might find when you come out of that that you want to arch your back, 